Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about a subject that's mainly about Call of Duty and whether it can stay the top game on the consoles on the next generation of consoles. Now, Call of Duty, they've basically just repackaged the same game over and over and over again. But Black Ops 2 has kind of changed things up a little bit, which is good, but it's still more or less the same game. Which, mm, the guns are basically the same and they have little to no recoil whatsoever. So when the new consoles come out, are we going to have to put up with the same old shitty games that are just repackaged from the last console? No, because they can't just put shitty games from the old console onto the new console. They can, but they won't do well, which is going to be fun. So we are going to get a brand new set of games that are going to be good, they're going to have way more stuff to do in them, it's going to be really, really good. Call of Duty will still be on the new consoles, which is kind of stupid and kind of horrible and kind of bad, but they're going to be there, they're going to have to be there, because without Call of Duty that's one major game that we've lost, and it you say that, but it would be kind of sad to see Call of Duty go, but Call of Duty is going to be there, and will it be the top game on the PS4 and the Xbox 720? Because every week, every month, every year, Call of Duty is always the number one played game. And there's Call of Duty and then there's either FIFA or NFL or NBA, basketball, whatever. It's either Call of Duty or a sports game. Now, with the new consoles, we don't know if Call of Duty is going to be the top game. We don't know if FIFA or one of the sports games is going to be the top game. We don't know if a racing game is going to be the top game. Because we haven't seen any of the games yet. We don't know. They could be a whole new genre that we haven't seen yet. That could be the top game. It could start something totally new. I mean, it probably won't, but we could. You never know. So... This commentary is just kind of saying Call of Duty needs to change on the new consoles because we're changing over to a new console. They're going to have to change engine now. They should be working on a new engine right now because the engine they've been using is like 10 years old at this point. It's shit. It's been They've basically just been modding an engine over and over and over and over again. So it's not even... It's been so heavily modified it's not even the same engine anymore. But they just need to make their own engine with better graphics, have be able to, I'd say, put vehicles in, but not dog shit vehicles like what we saw in World at War and other CODs where you could be in tanks and shit. Just good, decent vehicles that you can drive and they're fun. And they actually, they're not just stupidly shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because if you've ever played World at War, you know they are just stupidly shit. And the maps, the map, we're going to have a larger variety of maps. No, we're going to have like 30 maps straight off the bat, which is going to be good. I mean, actually, thinking about that, we're not going to have 30 maps straight off the bat. Because then they, they won't be able to charge us more money for more map packs. But, whatever, we're going to have longer story modes. Pro actually, probably not. We're going to have, not going to have longer story modes because they're just going to take all of our money. But, basically, Call of Duty is going to have to change. And they're going to have to do something drastic if they want to stay top. Like, another shooter could come along. What about, um, um, I think Respawn Interactive, the people who made Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 4. They all got sacked from Infinity Ward because Infinity Ward isn't Infinity Ward anymore. But the original people from Infinity Ward are now making another first person shooter because they have rights to the engine from uh, Modern Warfare 2. And if they mod that engine, put better graphics and stuff in it, then I think their game will be able to take over from Call of Duty, or even a shooter altogether is not going to be able to take over Call of Duty. Like an RPG maybe, or maybe that sports game, or maybe a racing game, or a game, a platformer, a game we've never heard of, something new is going to be able to come in and say, Call of Duty, your shit, go away, no one wants to play you anymore, everyone wants to play with me, and touch me, and play with me, and put them inside them console. Yeah. Okay, basically Call of Duty. They're going to have to change if they want to be top game anymore. So that's basically what the commentary was about. Call of Duty needs to change if they want to be top dog. If not, they they are going to Call of Duty and be dead in the next four years. Which is kind of happy. But I do enjoy my Call of Duty. But anyway, anyway. Basically, that was the commentary. If you enjoyed, please subscribe to Recon. We have loads of lovely commentaries here. Also, go check out the other RLB 
channels such as RLB Central and RLB Radio and Vlogging Life and RLB Vlog or whatever. There's a vlogging channel. I don't know what it's called. But anyway, go check out all of those and it'll be good. Come check out my channel as well. By the way, the gameplay was by The Last Viking Y2K, so check him out also. So, I'll see you in the next video, guys. See you later.